of course, for years now, we've recognized that testosterone suppression is, does, is not a free lunch. Um, as we say in the vernacular, it, it clearly um, lessens prostate cell adenocarcinoma progression, uh, but there are associated significant side effects that are well known to the, all of us who treat these patients. But the cardiovascular events uh, and the all-cause mortality when you break it down with, that is related to cardiovascular versus prostate cancer has been known to be rather striking in this elderly male population. So uh, we looked at cardiovascular events and what we found was that there was um, 7.1% cardiovascular events uh, in the luprolide arm versus 3.9% in the relagolix arm. When we further stratify that or look at that as to major adverse cardiovascular events or what are described as MACE, M-A-C-E, a, -E, a non-fatal myocardial infarction or non-fatal stroke or death, cardiac related, the difference was 6.2% in the luprolide arm, 2.9% in the relagolix arm. The Kaplan-Meier that we ultimately demonstrated and presented at the uh, ASCO presentation and also proudly in our recently uh, published New England Journal of Medicine article was a 54% reduction in the risk of major adverse cardiovascular events.